thanks, Beth, for asking how I use ChatGPT for blogging, for writing posts. Um, so first of all, I do have an entire course about AI, ChatGPT. Beth, you're actually in it, so thank you for being part of it. Um, so if you want to like deep dive and see all the different ways that I'm using it uh, and go even deeper into this question, we can do that. But for now, I'm going to do a really quick, uh, I don't know, I'm going to try to keep it to like three minutes if I possibly can, because that's how fast ChatGPT works. So, okay. So let me challenge myself. Um, so first of all, uh, there's here, I have a YouTube uh, playlist for my, for this kind of stuff, if you want to if you want to check that out, but let me just go ahead and say, what if I was using ChatGPT, and I like to use four, by the way, just so you know, the default model is always uh, less smart and creative than the the higher model. So if you if you if you are able to access the higher model, please go ahead and uh, try that out. Um, yeah, so I use ChatGPT for blogging for a couple of reasons. One is first of all, I always write out my own thoughts before I go to ChatGPT because I, I want to still practice my own creativity and um, I don't want to get, I don't want to, because it's so easy when GPT gives you the answers, it sounds really like well, well formed. And so you might no longer, you might either doubt yourself or you might be like, yeah, it's just, it's too easy to go with it. So I definitely don't do ideation first on GPT. I do ideation myself. I'll say, I have a blog post idea. Um, it doesn't, and you know, you could do mis mistypings. It obviously understands everything. Um, and it, it goes, uh, this has to do with, and I'll just like, I'll just like freestyle. And by the way, shift enter is how you do multiple line breaks in GPT without submitting your prompt. So, you know, idea one, you know, idea two, I also want to talk about this within the blog post and also about that and also about that. Uh, and an authentic business. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to actually submit this because it's going to it's going to pick up on authentic business and and nothing else. Um, so then I'm like, um, I was like, uh, and there I'm stuck on what else I should say about this idea for a blog post. Uh, I welcome your 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 thoughts on what I should address. Oh, um, by the way, my ideal reader is uh, describe just describe you know a life coach let's say okay and then and then boom and then it'll it'll give ideas <clears throat> i see you have a few random characters but i see authentic business is a potential topic so it's very smart anyway and then and it, and it goes from there um start by blah 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 blah, blah right and you know it's like and the second part is i don't have to take what it gives me and this is also really important like chat just because it seems really well formed it has complete sentences it sounds smart you it's mainstream so that's part of what i want to say chat gpt gives you mainstream information and you probably think in a more nuanced way a more deeper way a more contrarian way i like that myself and it's good because otherwise everyone else is using gpt to write blog not everyone but lots of people are these days and it's all going to sound the same so that's why I use GPT as a foil. A foil is a, a literary mechanism where it's like it's it's the it's the opposite of the protagonist, right? It's like the I use it to bounce off a bounce off to say, oh, you think that that's the mainstream idea? Well, let me let me go deeper. Let me go more contrarian. Let me go wider. Let me go, um, you know, uh, something more interesting. And I could say, and I could look at this and say, you know, I really I really like this idea of self reflection. Okay, so uh, can you give me five best ideas about how authentic business uh, intersects uh, with self-reflection uh, for for a for a life coach who um, <clears throat> is often self self-doubtful mm -hmm. you know and then go from there and then it'll give me some more ideas and I'll go yeah I like idea two mm, idea one is kind of boring mm, idea three yeah maybe for a different blog post you I then get to choose right what I do with it and then finally, and I'm already well past my three minutes, but I'm going to keep going. I'll try to make it five minutes. And finally, once I have a blog post draft, okay, once I, I take in the ideas and I write it myself, okay, which this, this is actually an upcoming blog post I have, then what I'll do is I've, I've written it, okay, and then I will go back into ChatGPT, stop generating, and then I will basically do, um, um, here's a draft of my blog post tailored towards uh, authentic solopreneurs. Um, can you see any major gaps 
uh, you know, reasoning gaps um, or other other important um, holes to fill in to make this blog post more interesting for them. Okay, and then paste, go. And then uh, what is it doing right now? Okay, um, so it's actually, uh, I mean, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop. It's actually rewriting the blog post with, um, with, 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 with what it thinks are improvements. So I'm going to say this: um, give me specific suggestions, um, not actual writing, um, uh, ideas that I will write myself. Uh, I just need some pointers. Okay, regenerate, uh, and then go down here and save and submit, and let, let, let's see if it does a better job. Yeah, suggestions. There we go. Include anecdotes. There we go. See, that's what we're working. With. But you see how GPT, you could talk to it like a like an assistant. It understands. You don't need grammar. You don't need spelling. It, 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 it's better. <laughs> it's probably even smarter than humans in, in recognizing what you what 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 it what you're probably trying to get get at. You know, it's your attention, you know, right? So you see? So anyway, I am past five minutes, but it's under six minutes. So I hope this is helpful. If you liked a lot more, we go, we have fun in the AI course and you learn to use this kind of stuff really powerfully. Take my course. Otherwise, I hope this is helpful. All right. I'm going to go past the six minutes because thank you, Beth, for just having said yes. And then we can ask for 10 title ideas based on what we've written. We copy paste our blog post and go, all right, what are, you know, what are five? Give me 10 titles, five that are very accurate to the blog post and five that are make it really intriguing for this type of reader. Or whatever, you know, so like five that are, or you could do like three, give me three that are um, prioritizing accuracy. Give me three more titles that are prioritizing uh, mystery or intrigue. Give me three titles that are funny or whatever, you know, I'll give it to you based on what you've given it as a blog post. So anyway, lots of, this is just, this is, we're just scratching the surface um, on this stuff. So I hope you will try it out and have it really help you and smooth things along. You can use ChatGPT for like, help you at like, talk you through a blog post if you're really stuck you know it'll serve as an interviewer and anyway there's lots of possibilities again i cover all this in my course but at least this is just gives you a start and you probably figure out how to use it as you play play more with it so thanks